Hey everybody, this is Phil, and I'm going to be going over my Draconic keyboard by Red Dragon. This is the K530 model. I got this roughly, it's about two years now I've had this keyboard, and I really like it. I got the white model, it comes in black. Also the switches, so I got the blue switches. Um, you can get it with different mechanical switches. It's easy to pop off the keys. Um, this is the key removal. This is the um, mechanical switch removal tool. It comes with four extra uh, mechanical switches and your charging cord, which is also a direct connection. So if you want to connect it to a computer, it plugs into the USB-C straight into your computer. Or if you don't want to worry about the battery and just keep it plugged in, you can. It's made of ABS plastics. It's really sturdy. It, it seems like it would be metal or something, but it's not. It's real thick uh, as far as the base. I have the elevation legs up to kind of give it a tilt and they have little rubber feet on them and feet on the base. So when you're playing or if you're at work, it's not going to really shift around much. And it's, it's really sturdy if I push on it. It's not really, it's not flexing at all. Um, I love the sound it makes. It's one of the highlights of this keyboard. Um, as far as the side here, we have the USB-C on and off, three Bluetooth modes, the Bluetooth indicator and the battery indicator. When you put it in Bluetooth mode, it should just start pairing and it's pretty seamless. I've done it to two different computers, two different iPads, uh, my iPhone, and I've been able to use this keyboard with all of them. And it's a 60% keyboard. So one of the things you remember with the 60% is it's gonna have key combinations. So you can see like delete, insert, um, all your, your F keys and uh, your arrows. So those are those key combinations are going to be on this because of the size. Now, what you're all here to see, the RGB. So whenever you turn the keyboard on, it's going to go through a boot up. Get this back. And then it'll go into whatever mode you have it set in. It does have a sleep mode, so if I don't touch the keyboard for a second, it'll just turn off. And that's for battery saving, but you can turn that off so where it's this is on all the time. Uh, if you want to change it, you do FN2 and 9, and it'll rotate through the different modes. So you've got quite a few different modes. There's some solid modes. This is a really cool one. It's good for some background and videos, or if you, uh, you know, just want to leave it on. And if you want to turn the lights off and not use them at all, just press 0, and they'll go off. If you want to change, it's like too bright, you can press the minus button that's all the way down or all the way bright you kind of get a little warning with the caps lock it lets you know hey that's the brightest that's the dimmest um, but that's going to be it from my review uh, I've, again i've had this for two years now it's a, almost two years and i really like this keyboard i hope you enjoyed my review